Hola, and welcome to Kim at Home. Today's April 9th, and I need to go to the store. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim with a Y, K Y M, and right now it's a cold April day in Ohio, and I need to go to the grocery store. Went in there for like four items, and I came out spending like 140 something dollars. Anyway, here's what we have: bagels, salad dressing, bushes, black beans. I like these, but they didn't have the honey kind. So we have some raisins and some Mrs. Meyers dish soap, as well as like cheese, hummus, plastic baggies. And then we have Brussels sprouts, peppers, English cucumber, zucchini. And then I want to make a charcuterie board, some sponges, some bacon, some meat. This is going to be really good. It's a turkey tenderloin, ground turkey, shrimp, steak. And then we have some Simply Lemonade raspberry flavor. And I had to get my creamer because I picked up the creamer that was like zero sugar and Kim don't do zero sugar stuff or low fat anything, okay? I needed my regular creamer. And we have green beans, broccolini, potatoes, and cilantro. There's a little quick haul for you. I don't typically do hauls. I'm not the best at it because I just talk a little bit too much sometimes. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you some of the items that I purchased from the grocery store in case you needed some meal ideas or snack ideas for that matter. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. The fact that you chose my video to watch, I am just so flattered and I feel so blessed. So thank you. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you in my YouTube family and we are called the Keep Up Crew. And before you leave out, please show that like button some love as well. You better sing with me, okay? But in all seriousness, let me turn the music down. I'm gonna leave the kitchen as it is for the moment. And then I'm gonna come into my living room, vacuum the floor, and also I need to clean the carpet, so. Did you see how quickly I can transition from being silly to being professional? Your girl got skills and it's just not cooking and cleaning. <laughs> my carpet has not been cleaned in so long. As a matter of fact, we only cleaned it one time since we actually had the carpet installed and that was almost three years ago. So that is kind of gross. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that I vacuum everything up really, really good. And then I'm going to get the carpet cleaner out and get to work. The vacuum that I'm using is a Shark and my carpet cleaner is a Bissell Pro Heat 2 times Revolution Pet Pro. That is a mouthful, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, we are all clear. The floor is vacuumed. I love the vacuum lines. When you are actually, I'm, I'm walking and talking, sorry. But anyway, when you're actually going to like clean your carpet, make sure when you vacuum, you vacuum like horizontal and vertical, like go back over it just to make sure you have everything because Sometimes the vacuum misses stuff, you know? Do you know I'm gonna put some vinegar in this water because that's just how I do things. <laughs> I'm sure for those of you who have been around for a while, you were not surprised by that vinegar, were you? Yeah, you know I love to clean with vinegar. Take a good look at this. Let's talk about how gross it is, first of all, but I've actually seen worse, and we don't even wear our shoes in the house. <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever get as clean as I would like it to be, but you know. That is really, really, really gross. In our last home, we did not have carpet at all, and I really enjoyed that. Now that we have carpet, it's like, okay, Kim, you gotta make sure you're cleaning this because it gets really dirty, and I just forget. I noticed there was a little bit of hair and carpet that came out in the container that the water was in. Look at this.
Okay, in between cleans, be sure that you clean these out really good. This was the one that held the dirty one, and this is the one that held the clean one, or it might be vice versa. This is the dirty one, <laughs> this is the clean one, but I rinsed them out really, really well, and I'm just gonna allow them to dry just the little bit areas in front of the couch three times. And I also went over the entryways several times as well, because those are normally the most dirty parts. So next on my agenda is putting my lights up. It's kind of dark in my kitchen because I messed up my lighting. Anyway, these are the lights that I'm going to use. I ordered these off of Amazon. Now this is my first time actually using this brand. I typically get another brand, but they were not available. But I will say these work just as well. While I'm up here, I might as well clean the uh, cabinet off and probably, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't get it open with one hand. And probably um, on the inside too, it's a hot mess. These cabinets are always hard to clean because they're above the um, refrigerator and the refrigerator collects a lot of dust. How can I have so many light bulbs, you ask? Well, <laughs> it's just because there's so many different lights in my home. I feel like there's three areas of lights in every single room except for my daughter's, both of their rooms. And of course not in the bathrooms either, but everywhere else has three light points. The whole aesthetic of decorating is to have three light points in every single room. I don't think I'm using the correct terminology, but I know for those of you who like to decorate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The lights are fairly easy to put on. The only thing is I have like fat fingers, so I can't fit my hands or my fingers into certain places. That's why I used a butter knife. And also the corners are kind of hard for me to, you know, get them to actually stick. Even though there's a little bit of kinks on the bottom, nobody can see it, only me. And you know, life goes on. The, the lights look amazing. There's nothing to complain about. <laughs> What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Leave a comment down below. I already had a handy dandy adapter from my last one. They do not include adapters when you purchase them, FYI. The cord can be hidden, keep that in mind. I just didn't hide mine because I just put them up. Look how much brighter it is in my kitchen. This is why I love the lights and I'm glad that I added them at the top, but the um, way that it's sticking out is bugging me a little bit. So I'm gonna have to take care of that quickly. But it looks much better. The most rewarding thing to do after you deep clean is to cook yourself a nice hot meal. It's about to go down in this kitchen. And this, my friend, is how you store cilantro. So my recipe calls for about two tablespoons of cilantro. I think this will do it. I need to sharpen all of my knives. Every single one of the knives in my home needs to be sharpened and I guess that's why my daughter bought this because she probably got tired of me talking about it, you know? This is the sharpener I have. It works really, really well too. I've already cut up the onions and also the peppers and now I'm just cutting up the zucchini. I'm telling you what, the smell of the cilantro and everything, it just smells really, really fragrant and amazing in here. This is a great brand too, it tastes really good. Nice and rich, just like it says on the packaging. <laughs> got my vegetables together. It's onions, onions, peppers, and zucchini. And I also have some bean sprouts. Sprinkle some lime. I thought I was doing something with one hand, but as you can see, your girl was struggling. Ginger. Old Bay. Seafood Old Bay. This is a recipe that I made up like a long time ago and it ended up being really, really good. And I did put fresh garlic and garlic powder in here. I don't measure, I just go by taste and smell. So I can't even tell you how much, you know, to put in there, but you can see kind of how it went. And when you're cooking something like shrimp and veggies, you cannot go wrong. It's all about the seasoning, it's all about the flavor. So if you're trying to replicate this, make sure you use the same exact seasonings that I used. Wash your handles, wash them handles. <laughs> I also added butter to the shrimp and also to the veggies because everything is better with butter. Raise your hand if you agree. I 
guess I better clean out this cabinet a little bit because I can't even shut the door. <laughs> My idea of organizing is just to make sure everything fits where it needs to go. It does not look pretty. It's not a Pinterest type thing, it's real life. For me, it's all about the functionality, not what it looks like. No shade, do what you wanna do in your home, but this is how I do it in my home. Bree's plate looks really, really, really good. Okay, so Bree doesn't wanna be on camera. Bree, how's your food? Talk loud so everybody can hear you, that your mom is the bomb. It's really good. <laughs> I, I can cook like you know how there's certain things that you know how to do cooking is one thing I know how to do okay Karia how's it taste good it is now time to get these cabinets under control they are dirty you look so good in my sweater winter is my favorite weather cause it brings you close Close. Yeah, wish we could stay here forever. Each day you keep getting better. Be sure you clean the handles off on your cabinets as well. And I need you close. I need you close. Water from the cabinet. Not as bad as the couch was last week. You want to see it? We could be good friends, yeah. We could be good friends. We could be good friends. We could be good friends. Even though nothing has been cleared out of the kitchen, I keep walking on crumbs, so I needed to sweep even if I have to sweep again later. I just don't want to walk on crumbs. We could be good friends, yeah. Make sure that you disinfect this once you use it. a shout out to people who can actually walk around their house in their bare feet it's really 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 hard for me to do that my socks got soaking wet and I had to walk around in my bare feet and I'm a fuzzy socks and slippers girl so it just felt really really weird husband connected the other chair down here I've just been trying to figure out what I can put here because there was a side table but there's also a door there so I don't know anyway everything's back in its place the only parts of the carpet that are wet directly in front of the couch but everything else is put back in its place I'm not really sure about that being there I'll probably move it to be honest with you but anyway I've put the side table back there even though it's blocking some of the door I think it's okay but yeah I think I like it better this way I think I like that better over there so you'll have to let me know in the comments which way you like it better do you like the table there or do you like the basket there thank you so much for being here I really really appreciate you make sure that you are loving on yourself make sure that you're taking 15 minutes every single day for self-care if you can't do that try to squeeze it in there you know three times a week and then build your way up anyway be sure you're saying your affirmations I am worthy I am enough 
I am strong, whatever it is that you need to say, but know that you are loved and know that you are needed. Please don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe if you haven't because your girl is almost at 1,000, okay? This is amazing, like for real. It's all about flavor, okay? Thank you again for watching. Bye, guys.